Hey guys, what's up? It's Spencer from Flight Director, and today we're going to be starting a new series called So You Want to Get Into Flight Simulator Video Editing. This series is going to bring you through the steps of getting you to being a full editor in the flight sim community and making YouTube videos. So, without further ado, we're going to start with episode one. Episode one is going to be about the software that you want to get if you want to start editing. So, first off, obviously, you need to get Microsoft Flight Simulator X. Um, I mean, this one is a given. I'm sure most of you already have this if you're even looking at the game into Flight Simulator editing. But it's only, right now, $18 on Amazon. It's typically $40. Um, not that big of a deal. Um, and obviously, it's a necessity if you want to get into Flight Simulator X video editing. Alright, so that's the simulator. Next thing is a video recorder. But there are two options for video recording. You can get FS Recorder or Fraps. Personally, I recommend FS Recorder as it's free and it also um, it has so many other possibilities that we have discussed in our videos. It's a very versatile tool that is just perfect for um, getting clips. So first off, you want to go to fs dash recorder.net you want to go to downloads then you want to download um, oh you want to go to the forum I'm sorry because the um, thing is not totally out yet you want to go to um, uh, general uh, alpha releases experimental video rendering and then you want to scroll down and download FSX version or download FS Dozen 4 version. Um, and then it's going to be a .exe which you just install. And we have another video tutorial on how to use the FS Recorder um, video render feature. So download this and you'll be up and running with FS Recorder. Now if you want to get Fraps, it's another simple tool. You just go to, uh, if you want to give it a try, you can just download the uh, trial version. Um, that one allows you to do to um, record 30 seconds at a time and have a, um, a watermark on top. Or you can buy it for $37. Um, I don't know the conversion to euros, but $37. And then it allows you to record videos for not only flights in there, but any um, running program on your computer. Uh, it's very useful, and uh, it's actually what I'm using right now to record this video. So, those are your two options for video record, video capture. Next is the video editing software. Personally, I recommend getting Sony Movie Studio Platinum. It's not the full version of Sony uh, Movie Studio, which is Pro, and that version is about $600, which unless you have a b bunch of money to burn, it's probably too much money. So this one right now is $80 and it's typically $130. Um, I highly recommend it. You can also do Platinum 11, which is actually the the, um, the one I'm running, which because it's the previous version is only $37. Relatively cheap, very useful. So this is what I recommend getting if you want to um, for editing. Now the other option that you'll see many people use is Adobe After Effects. This one is a little bit on the pricier side. Um, typically $1,000 actually costs $850. If you're just getting into editing, do, I do not recommend this. Uh, this is a very complex system of editing that is probably going to go way above your head and you're just going to be out a thousand dollars. However, if you do, um, just get it from Amazon or go to or get it from Adobe.com. It's a lot of money though, um, but it is a very strong video editing software that you that you can use to do a lot more stuff than Sony Vegas Platinum. All right, guys, that's it for today. Um, Tune in next week, and we're going to continue our series of So You Want to Get Into Video Editing. For Flight Director, this has been Spencer, and I hope you learned something.